Hello everyone. Today I felt called to do just a quick read to find out where you need encouragement, just to give you some positivity. Okay, so what do you need to hear today? We have one, two, and three. If you're already drawn to one, feel free to go check the timestamps in the description. And if you need them with crystals, I'll be right back. Okay, hopefully these crystals help you to decide. And once you have decided, take as long as you need and check the timestamps below. Group number one, let's find out what's going on with you. You've got a little bit of a tiger's eye here and let's see what might be happening for you right now. Okay, it is looking really good so far. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, which represents abundance, manifestation, and prosperity. You can see that this hand is even holding a ball of light. So you are going to be able to hold whatever you want in your hand. Opportunities are abundantly available to you, especially in the material world. Manifestations are taking form and you are planting the seeds of further growth. This could be in relationships, this could be financially, and this could just be overall. So keep sending those good vibes out into the world and they will continue to come back to you. Let's see what your super car attractor cards have to say. Okay, this one says, when I live and act from a place of spiritual alignment, I can trust that everything is working out for me, even if I don't know how or when it will happen. And you can kind of use these super attractor cards just as things that you can say to ensure that you are getting that abundance that you are attracting that you deserve. Spiritual alignment puts my manifestation into motion. So making sure that you are aligned with everything. It's kind of funny that this imagery even matches. So I really do like feel like this was meant to be. And the last one says, when I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. So overall, what I'm getting for you is that you have intense spiritual alignment. The universe is really creating great things for you and all you have to do is just put it out there and trust no matter how big even if it seems like you have no idea how it could happen just keep believing in it keep putting it out there and the universe will find a way to get it to you so group number one thanks for watching hope this resonated with you please come back for more readings in the future and have a wonderful day Okay, group two, let's take out the pink quartz and find out what is in store for you. Okay, your first card is the six of cups. And the six of cups can kind of represent like a playful energy and something that might even make you be feeling nostalgic. So maybe it is time this week to do something that is going to make you feel a little bit nostalgic. Maybe think of things in your childhood that you're like, oh, I haven't done that in a while. That would make me really happy. Or even something that you could share with a friend or a significant other that would just kind of bring you back to the good old days. This card also kind of says to reunite with your inner child and allow yourself to be playful. So don't let yourself get stuck on the nitty gritty everyday things. Just kind of let yourself unwind and do whatever feels right to you. There is always room in life for more laughter, joy, and childlike fun. So 
maybe grab a glass of your favorite beverage and get some delicious food, put on a nostalgic TV show, just sit back, relax, and unwind. Let's see what super attractor cards we've got in store for you. And these might be just some good mantras to help you on your way. So we have true manifestations are powered by service and love. So maybe there's something that you could do for someone else that might bring in some nostalgia for both of you. Something that you both remember doing that brought you true joy. We also have, I am patient knowing that whatever is of the highest good is coming to me. So maybe if you are feeling like you're stuck in whatever's going right on right now and it's not feeling like the most comfortable time to you, just know that you can kind of lean on that nostalgia and the past and future are going to be good to you, even if the present is feeling a little bit scratchy. And our last one says, manifesting is the creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create an experience that elevates my spirit and the spirit of the world. So not only are you elevating your own spirit and it kind of goes like all of these kind of seem like they are with someone else. So maybe a friend, maybe a partner, maybe a sibling, a family member, someone else can share this with you and maybe someone else close to you is feeling this way too. So this could be a good time to lean into that and just bring up the vibes for not only you, but the people around you. So I hope you have a fantastic week and thank you for watching pile number two. Hope to see you again soon. Okay. Group number three, you have the selenite on here, which often has to do with some cleansing or resetting. And let's find out kind of what's going on with you. So we have the two of cups. And the two of cups kind of represents partnership or duality. And this could be just symbolizing some synchronicity that's going on in your life, a new partnership, a new business venture or even a friendship. This card kind of symbolizes a partnership where you are very complementary to one another and your weaknesses are their strengths and vice versa. And this could be, again, in business, love, friendship, but any way that this goes, it is really going to be working out. And maybe this is a friend that you need to reconnect with. So if you've been thinking about someone and you haven't seen them in a long time, or you've really been making meaning to make plans, this could be a great time to do so. Let's see what the super attractor cards have in store for you. Oh, you got an extra one. This happens a lot with pile number three is we get extra cards. This first one says, when I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. So maybe just taking that leap and trusting that everything is going to be okay. Maybe going to have dinner with a friend or your business partner. Or maybe this is going to tell you that your business partnership is going to work out. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become a reality. So wow, both of these have faith in them. So really, I think what that's saying is just allowing yourself to let go and trust that everything is going to be okay. And maybe I'm, I really am almost feeling like this is going to be like a friendship that turns into a business partnership or just something that you are going to create with someone else. This next one says, when I'm patient, I let the universe do for me what I cannot do for myself. So that's almost partnership with the universe. You're pairing with it in order to get what you need. Maybe not what you want, but what you need. And your last one says, true manifesting is about receiving what is the of the highest good for all. So I think that, again, this isn't just about you. This is about you and someone else. Kind of a partnership. So overall... I hope this helps you out with your week and thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon.